This is KSL News at 6. Good evening. Is 70-year-old Governor Gary Herbert too old to drive? That's the question posed in a full-page advertisement by lobbyists in Washington, D.C. The group is urging Utah to repeal the new law, lowering the state's DUI limit to .05 by comparing it to older drivers. Political specialist Lad Egan is live at the Capitol tonight with reaction from Utah lawmakers. Not sure what the age has to do with DUI laws in that, uh, Lad. Yeah, you know, the group who produced the ad, Dean, he says it's supposed to be satire, calling out these lawmakers for passing the lowest blood alcohol level limit in the nation. But satire or not, the tactics used in the ad are getting a strong negative reaction from those on both sides of the aisle. No, I'm not impaired when I drive. I'm fully functional. I just drove back and forth from Cedar City yesterday. State Representative Stephen Hardy is one of 11 elected officials over the age of 65 who are featured in this full-page newspaper ad asking the question, too impaired to drive? This is kind of a silly silly tactic, I think. Under the photos of the lawmakers, including Governor Gary Herbert, the text cites research that older drivers are more impaired than those with a blood alcohol level of 0 .05 and ends asking, should those over 65 be arrested for DWO, driving while older? While not targeted by the ad, Democrat Senator Jim DeBacchus tweeted that he's appalled and outraged that the American Beverage Institute would put out the ad. The degrees of impairment uh, we see it every day. The director of that institute visited Utah last month and spoke out in opposition of the new law. Ban cell phones. There is cell phone blocking technology that exists. Ban them from cars. Don't let people eat in cars. There's a lot of things that you can do to save lives. In referring to the ad, which will be published Thursday, Sarah Longwell said in a statement that Utah lawmakers need to put traffic safety threats into perspective and apply their finite resources to problems backed up by logic. I file this under fake advertising. While he doesn't like the approach, Representative Handy admits the law has problems and is open to changing it. But let's have the, let's have the discussion in a different way than an attack ad. The Deseret News declined to run the ad, saying it wasn't fair to those pictured. And, you know, this is just part of the campaign by the Beverage Institute. It has launched an online petition and it is also running ads in neighboring states, Colorado, Idaho, and Nevada, discouraging tourists from coming here to Utah. Governor Herbert's office today declined to comment on this ad, Dave, but they do want to let folks out there know that they have asked lawmakers to look into unintended consequences, possibly changing the law before it goes into effect at the end of next year. Lad Egan, live for us up on Capitol Hill tonight. Thank you, Lad.